All right, guys, we are about to go into some advanced Facebook analytics. I need you guys to take your seatbelt. I need you to buckle up because it's about to get wild. All right, guys, happy Friday. I wanted to come out today with a fire video for you guys on some advanced Facebook analytics. This is what I use to actually analyze and judge the reports and everything that's going on inside of Facebook. Now, the front-facing campaign metrics or ad set metrics, whatever you guys see on the Ads Manager is a great way to look at it from a quick view. But once a week or once a month, you guys should go, really go in and check out this ads reporting area and check out the in-depth stats. And that's when you guys are really, really gonna see some cool stuff. So let's go ahead and check that out now. All you gotta do to get there is click this top drop-down area and go over to ads reporting and click on that. Now, as always, guys, as I said before, uh, I am in someone's account right now, so you guys are gonna see some stuff blocked out. I'm sure you guys understand. Now, let's go ahead and create a new one. So we have a couple of options. You can create from a template or you can create a brand new report. And what's nice about this is when you save this report, uh, it will actually allow you to just go back in, click view report like you see over here, and it's going to generate all of those metrics that you have saved which is really, really nice so you don't have to go in and click through this stuff again. So let's go ahead and create a new one from scratch. And we're gonna go down here. So you see on this left-hand column, this is where everything is that you guys are going to choose from, okay? So you have your dates, your timelines up here, which is you know whatever timeline you select. And then you have your time option over here as well, the day, the week, every two weeks, every month, whatever you want. I like to do week by week. Uh, you guys can do it however you would like, but my personal favorite when I'm looking at this particular thing is to do it week by week because it's enough data to look at it from a broad perspective, but it's also not like an overwhelming amount of data where it's hard to read and it just doesn't give you a good idea on what's really happening. So let's go ahead and check this out. We're gonna stay right here for now and let's go down to this other one. Delivery. This is really cool. So this is what you're going to select as far as what data do you want to put on this particular uh, report. So when you see, watch what happens. When I click on a age, all of these other ones go away. Okay, they don't allow me to click. I can click gender and age. Okay, so I can select that, which is good. Now let's go over and check out the report. And before I do this, let's go ahead and, and um, make one more change to this before I go over to the report. So these are the breakdowns of the different areas we can do. And you have your metrics as well. And these are actually their stats inside of Facebook. So this is something that if you guys aren't familiar with these stats and these metrics, uh, let me know and I can probably create some type of word sheet or document or Facebook dictionary for you guys. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. But if you just ho hover over it, you can see over here, it basically just tells you, gives you a definition of what CPC all means. Uh, so CPC all is the average cost for each click. The metric is calculated by the total amount spent divided by the clicks. So again, pretty straightforward. If Facebook gives you all this stuff. So we can go ahead and do that one. Let's do click through rates. And let's do cost per thousand impressions. And we don't need page likes, comments, engagement, shares. We don't need any of that stuff. But as you see, depending on what campaign you're running, the metrics may change. So if you're running a video view campaign or a video campaign, these you would want to see these metrics, how much of your video is being watched, how many people are watching 10 seconds of the first video, how many unique people are watching the first 10 seconds of the video. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. These are mostly for purchases here. We're not gonna worry about that too much because we don't, we're not selling any type of product on Facebook. Uh, lead forms, that's a good one obviously, cost per lead. Let's go ahead and check those two babies. And usually if you're doing a lead generation campaign, it's gonna be like a cost per result anyways. So the, that metric will come up as just cost per result because that's the objective that you're asking Facebook is to get leads. So when you get leads, that counts as a result. All right, so let's go ahead and I think that's probably good. 
Uh, I'm not going to do any of this stuff. You guys don't need to know that. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and go with that, and let's go ahead and hop over here to our report. So what's really cool about this, again, you guys can see the breakdown of all those metrics we just selected, and you guys can see them based off of the age and the gender, which is the two things we selected in the breakdowns area. See the delivery, age and gender. So now I know in my particular location that I've selected in my ad set, that 65 and plus for my males and my females, these are the metrics that are occurring. So my reach, my impressions, uh, frequency, and look at that, woo, baby. There is some good stats for you right there, boys. Okay, so see this right here? Uh, there it is, okay. So male, you see this, let's go ahead and cross here for male. Let's just pull this metric right over to the side. There it is. Okay, so female, 28 lead forms, male, 10. Okay, so it's almost three times as much for the females. Now, the good thing is, is the cost is controlled. So cost per result right here, 333 and 353 per result. That's really nice because Facebook is controlling the cost by the spend, which is right here, the total spend. So you see it's spent almost three times as much, which again, Facebook is getting really, really good at honing in your targeted audience and pushing the budget toward that targeted audience. All right. And you can see the stats on this. Uh, so the female stats on this and the male stats on this, I mean, the female stats, the click-through rates, 12%, which is ridiculous. Okay, it's super, super high. So that means out of 100 females, every time 100 females view this particular advertisement, 12% of them will click through. It's really, really good. All right, it looks like that's basically all the metrics we're looking at. But Again, now you can see the same thing for 55 to 64 year olds. So let's check out the females and males. Let's see if these metrics are any different. So there we go. All right, so you can see this is eight to 16. So this is only like a 15%. This is like a double disparity, okay? So eight to 16, that's only half of it. So this is three times as much, and this is half as much, okay? But look at what's unique here. So the females are actually more expensive than the males which is really, really interesting. But this is only for this particular demographic, and you guys obviously can't see this because this is sensitive information, uh, but this particular location, that's what the results that it's producing. Now, if you go down here, you see this other gray line here, this is a new location, all right? So you can see different stats are coming up for the 65 year olds, for the males and the females. Now this one, 65 and older in this particular location for males, is really, really expensive. Only had two and it was $11 per lead, okay? So most likely that ad was shut off. And this one is pretty good, 16 for 469. But you guys can see all of these stats. Again, this is how you analyze and just decide, make decisions on what you're doing. Um, you know, am I targeting just females? Am I targeting, what specific locations am I targeting? What is actually working? All right, so let's go ahead and uncheck these and show you some more cool stuff. All right, so let's go to DMA region. And you guys aren't gonna be able to see this because again, this is actually the region that we are targeting. But you guys can see DMA region right here. And DMA region means the actual, um, popping up. Uh, DMA region is the actual location that they would use for television or radio ads. So if you were to run a radio ad in Columbus, Ohio, for example, in the DMA region of Columbus, that would, that's a selected particular area. Now, the thing that sucks about DMA region is it's not controlled and it's very, very random from what I can see. So Columbus DMA region spans from like 100 miles north to 100 miles south of Columbus, which doesn't give you very accurate data on where it's actually being placed at. So you would use this, you know, if you're running statewide ads, or um, running ads across the US, you would use this DMA region to see where Facebook is targeting in and honing in on the audience. Because again, when it finds an area that is pushing ads or is generating a lot of leads from, it will continue to push the budget into that area. So that's where you're gonna use the DMA region. And again, it's going to come up with the same type of stats. So you have your region over here. Again, you guys can't see that, but that's okay. Uh, and you have your reach impressions, cost per results. So let's see here. So this particular one right here, this DMA region is very expensive. On the other side, 
this DMA region is quite cheap. Okay, so that's a good DMA region. And you guys are gonna see that all the way down. Okay, same thing. And again, this is how you make decisions. Impression device platform placements. Uh, this is, if you guys are running on all placements, so in the Facebook ads manager, if you guys don't select anything in particular for the placement, it's going to show ads everywhere. Impressions device is actually what device you are showing impressions on. So is it a mobile device? Is it a desktop? Is it an Android? What type of smartphone? So you guys can see here, iPod, um, Android tablet, iPhone. And you guys can see the impressions, the reach, where the leads are coming from. So, wow, this is actually really, really interesting. I didn't see this before. So Android smartphone in this particular area has a lot of leads, a lot of leads compared to all the other ones. So what I would assume is that people at this age like Android phones, that's a very good thing to know. So now if you're targeting their specific DMA region and you are targeting Android phones, you know, you can really hone in on that audience just by selecting their phone in their DMA region uh, and their gender. Let's say you targeted females who are on Android phones who are in that particular DMA region. You're going to have a pretty good audience and you push all the budget into that. I think you're going to see pretty good results. So the platform and placement and uh, that all comes together with this, but this is all just Facebook news feeds. We don't run anything else when we're using lead ads. So... That's why that is like that. Uh, time of day, and we want to do it in the viewer's time zone. This is kind of cool too, but not really. I mean, it's cool in a sense to see what's happening, but how would you use this data? Would you run ads only in a couple hour window at a time? Uh, you probably shouldn't because Facebook's already gonna do that, and I'll show you what that means here. So you can see here uh, that Facebook is pushing budget and pushing impressions, we should go to impressions, there we go, pushing impressions into areas that it thinks it's going to generate the most leads. So you could see at this five or five to six here is super low impressions. And as we go down here, one to 2 a.m., super low impressions, three to 4 a.m., low impressions, midnight to 1 a.m., low impressions. Again, so it's just going to scale based off of where it thinks the users are active. All right, so when the users are active, it's going to basically give them more impressions and that's how they make decisions, okay? So that's pretty cool. Again, this is what I look at when I'm looking at weekly stats. And again, so that's what I would use it for. That's how I would personally use it. I would say, okay, it looks like these DMA regions are looking good and it looks like they're mostly female and it looks like they're Android users. Okay, so I would target Android users, females, and I would target that particular DMA location. And guess what I would do? I would put a female in the picture. Oh, yes, I would. Okay, so we are now, again, using the information that Facebook is giving us, using the data that Facebook gives us to target our audience better and put a picture in front of them that is relatable to them, all right? That is what you guys have to do, and that's how you use these advanced analytics to make stuff happen. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I am out. I am done for the day. Hope you guys have an excellent Friday. Have a great weekend. Crush it. If you guys have any questions, hit me up. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, mm, you guys need to do that now. All right. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the Facebook group. That's all I got. See you guys next week.